Okay, just thought I'd do a quick video of uh, changing the <laughs> rubber drive band in my TIAC um, 300 series CD player. It's a PDH300C TIAC. I looked all over the web for this drive band, and the, the only one I could find, the cheapest, was £10 for this stupid thing. But I managed to find a cheaper one at CPC for a fiver. Um, ideally, this should be 25 millimeter um, diameter, and it should be 85 millimeter circumference internally, and it should be two millimeter thick. This one's only 1.2 millimeter, but it'll have to do because that's all they've got. That's all I can find. But it should do for now. Right. So to get at this rubber band, what you need to do is you need two tiny screwdrivers, and just prise out the two tabs on either side of the tray. When you just pull them out slightly and then the loading tray will come out another inch. And when it does that, if it does that, like that, you can get at the rubber drive band which is down here. So let's turn that around now. You should be able to see the drive band here. You can see it's a lot thicker than the one I've got. You just need to prise that little bit of plastic up there. Hope you can see that. Just there, uh, lever it up a bit, and you get the drive band off. <laughs> he said. That's it. And there it is. That's the old one. This is the new one that's going on. Because the old one had actually stretched, and you can see it's elongated like an egg. That's where it sat for one in one position for about five or six years, um, not being used, and that's why it wasn't driving properly, because it's also stretched. So hopefully we can get that on there. It's going to be damn fiddly. I know it is. That's up. And then, ah. Uh. It's got it. Right, it needs to be a square belt, I forgot to mention that, not a uh, round belt. The belt is actually square in section, so you're looking for a 25mm diameter, 2mm thick rubber band, if you can f if you can get it, and it's 85mm um, internal circumference. You could use a 79mm, it would be just a little bit tighter, it would probably work for longer. So that's it. Now all you need to do is just gently ease the tray in until it just catches there and then fire it up on the mains, turn it on and that will now retract uh, naturally. You don't want to push that all the way and it does it damages the transport mechanism. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that should work. <laughs> 